Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to be removing the uh, front bumper. So we got three bolts right there. And some on this side. We'll get the front bumper off. And then I plan on pulling off the back bumper because it is, as you can see, much worse shape. But uh, we'll get under there and figure that out. So, right. let's get up here and get started on this. I'm going to at least get, like I said, get this front bumper pulled off. I need to be able to pull this out today. I've got some work to do on my legacy. Heavy duty metal protectant spray. Well, on this side, look like I got plenty of. Uh, Power steering fluid, uh, helping to uh, lubricate them. Good afternoon, February 5th, 2022, and 
day six, as we work on this one, uh, had to take a couple, a uh, week and a half or so, week, almost two weeks off, working on a couple other vehicles. Uh, but we got this pulled back in last night, um, started up, even as we had it set up like this, started up, uh, brought it in, and now got sitting here, getting ready to drain the coolant, drain the, drain the oil, get that out of the vehicle because we're going to be pulling the engine. And we've got to remove the coolant um, and uh, get everything marked off. We're going to mark where each of the uh, lines, you know, whatever they happen to be, coolant lines, uh, whatever, you know. Uh, so get everything set, uh, get ready to remove it. Remove the exhaust, drop that out and uh, disconnect the um, engine and transmission. We gotta support the transmission when we pull the engine, but we'll get that, uh, everything underneath uh, taken care of, and then we'll come up above, and I got tape. We're gonna tape what we got, where it goes to, where it goes to, you know, take some pictures. Obviously, I'm getting some video now, but, uh, We'll have everything marked up and we want to actually check, you know, do we have any electric problems, you know, uh, vacuum lines, stuff like that. Some of them we know we need to replace. Most of them we will probably replace. So, but uh, see, you know, how everything's set up. Did have a drain, so we don't know exactly what has been draining. And that's been happening for a few years. With it, that's where we do have the uh, uh, connection right here. We can remove it easily, and then that we stop the drain, put it back together. But it'll drain fairly quickly. So uh, I can parasitic drain. Uh, check that out um, and see what's happening. So, but we're going to go ahead and, like I said, start draining the oil and the uh, coolant. I'll probably while I'm at it during the transmission fluid and the trans transfer case because I will be removing those as well. Um, I got a lot of supplies in the boxes uh, to redo clutch, uh, suspension, um, mount mountings um, for the engine. Uh, Probably no bearings or anything, but I don't know what bearings we're going to need. We'll get those out, uh, measure them, see how they are. Uh, but uh, parts are in here. So, um, and obviously, we got a lot of stuff back here. So, um, inside, it's pretty good shape. We do have a few things we're going to address, but overall, the inside's in uh, really good shape. So, um, Let's uh, set up the camera on the tripod and uh, get started. Thanks for following along. Subscribe and like. See more content. Help the channel. And yes, <coughs> small channel. I'm just doing the, using a GoPro and uh, a couple other cameras. Um, yeah, a couple Go, a couple GoPros, old camera, a digital camera and stuff. My phone. And uh, that's how we get by in these times. If I ever get take off, maybe I'll buy some other video. But uh, for now, this works. And uh, love having the shop, definitely. So, all right, let's move on. dropping the exhaust.
radiator cap is removed. engine oil draining out of here. So let's see we had a leak in that for a little while. Seems though somebody may have cranked down up pretty good to uh, try to stop that leak. Sounds like the uh, coolant is about done. Oh yeah. She may have been a little bit low. She's had a leak for a little bit, but uh, We'll give that, let that drain out for a while and uh, move on. You can see the exhaust here. Yeah, we've had a leak for a little bit. This one, yeah, a little bit loose there. Somebody patched that one a while ago and then on out. So. Pretty straightforward, older system, no catalytic converter on this guy. But, uh, yeah. Overall, the frame and everything looks to be in pretty good shape. We've got new bushings for a lot of this. Uh, still determining what we're going to do with the, uh, the bed. But I got new uh, rockers. Just got to cut the, the welds. Get that out and uh, clean this up. Clean up the uh, subframe, or not the subframe, but the uh, floor panels, and uh, see how it looks. But uh, yeah, that oil is slowly draining. Let's pull the. the dipstick let it vent a little bit see if that uh, eh, may improve the drain a little bit so all right let that coolant continue to drain we got the uh, oil draining and uh, we'll see what it takes let's see what we can get to uh, remove this exhaust if I end up needing to cut it, that's fine. It's going to be replaced anyway. But uh, we'll see if we can break some of these studs and stuff loose up here. Some of these are in pretty rough shape. You know, we looked at trying to replace those 
a while ago. But uh, yeah, on this side, I know we had it. But uh, let's see if we can get some of those broke loose. Using some AMZO Metal Protect to uh, help loosen up or help with breaking loose these bolts, studs. It does work on uh, lubricating rusty, freeze rusty parts, protects against corrosion, displaces moisture. I think this is the side that we got a couple of the studs that had broke loose before. Cool, it's pretty much uh, finished draining, it sounds like. I believe that's set there for now. And uh, continue on with our uh, getting the exhaust taken down from underneath. Slow trickle on that oil still. That's definitely nasty, it looks like. Okay. So we got a clamp here. Crossover here. That's a straight crossover pipe. We got a clamp on this side, here and here. Going to be putting in so clamps here, crossover pipe here, clamps down here. Sorry about that. Comes up, the dual exhaust goes out, goes back into one pipe. Take the easy way out and cut it. Okay, so I've got a lot of the uh, clamps cut off. So, on the side. Kind of pounded it, got it loosened up a little bit. Same with the other side. Got this one loose. Obviously, that one's already done. So that'll go to work to pull out the exhaust from the back, work all the way to the front. So I've got to undo these two, undo the bolts here. Tailpipe. 
get that hanger done. Put those two up there and we'll see if we can pop that out and work our way from the back to the front. So I went in to the garage. This is the shop. And uh, got my your exhaust is coming out today. So getting those clamps off they're still you know this thing's 1988 so that makes it uh what, almost 34 years old and uh, some of those exhaust parts are yeah locked in but i'm going to make some strategic cuts so that i'll be able to kind of keep it still pull it out line it up figure out exactly how it was laid out i'm going to rebuild rebuild it get some of those you know kind of lined up the same way uh, it is going to get a full new exhaust and it's getting headers put on which is what's in that bomb box right there but uh, <clears throat> those are going to be coming in later and uh, yeah so stop wasting time and actually going to use the uh, saw and cut the exhaust to get it out of here so let's get at it all right, now it's down to the manifold. You kind of can see where the pipe's cut there. But uh, I wasn't kidding. I wanted it out. It's uh, roughly laid out. Yeah, that pipe back there was flipped around, but there it is. And I'll tell you what, we did old steel, old systems. They are thick. As rough as it was, it wasn't through, except for up here at a joint. Yeah, it was a slip joint kind of deal. So that may not have even been a factory. But that's out. Like I said, now let me see if I can bust the uh, manifolds loose and uh, do that. But uh, if not, it's okay. I'm going to uh, tag and mark the lines and uh, disconnect the upper and lower radiator hoses. Get those disconnected, let it drain a little bit more if necessary, and uh, go on. Again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, Helps the channel, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so didn't get far along as I had hoped to, but uh, we're pretty close. Well, pretty close. Close is relative. So exhaust is out on this side, driver's side. Uh, radiator's out. Can enter radiator. On this side, exhaust is not out. It's down to a bolt right there, but uh, that's not going to stop me from pulling the engine, um, which I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I've got some stuff tagged over here. Now it's get uh, everything else marked out, tagged. Got to get the intake off. Got to get stuff off the front. And uh, yeah, that's just a matter of bolts and stuff. And I'll get that uh, first thing tomorrow. But uh, she's coming along. And uh, there you go. Cool. The uh, AC was not connected, so that's just the hoses and stuff for that. And uh, radiator hose. So. Alright, thanks for watching. Good morning. Uh, going to be working on, uh, again, marking, removing some components, uh, getting ready to pull the motor. So I'm going to get the air cleaner off. Uh, this is the uh, exhaust bolts, exhaust manifold bolts, a heat shield for the heat riser. But uh, get the 
air cleaner off, uh, cover up the uh, carburetor, keep stuff out of there. But uh, get this bracket, you know, bracket removed because I'm going to have to be able to get the uh, mount to uh, for the lift to be able to pull the motor out. But uh, so to mark some of these things that are connected, uh, spark plugs. Pretty straightforward, and we'll know where those go. But I'm going to go ahead and mark them anyway. Um, back to the distributor, and uh, I've already marked some of the wiring that I disconnected yesterday. Uh, some of the harnesses I won't be actually removing for now, but uh, we'll be going through wiring to see what's bad, what's good, uh, what needs to be replaced. Uh, some vacuum hoses. Uh, this is part of the uh, evap canister and uh, evap system so get those uh, identified where they go and uh, again get this all ready to pull so here we go On this side, when I was removing the uh, exhaust manifold, so there was about half as many uh, studs and bolts as was on the other side. So I definitely had a problem over here. Also, I noticed, look at the exhaust manifold. But uh, it seems like the uh, any gasket on there has a, uh, yeah, there's no exhaust gasket on there, and I don't see one on the, uh, the manifold. Yep, no exhaust manifold, which would help to uh, contribute to that exhaust leak over here. Got the negative, the grounding cable from the battery to the uh, engine removed there. See, we only have a couple of hoses here that connect to the uh, actual. Intake manifold, or uh, sorry, the uh, air filter housing. I think I'm going to loosen up the uh, alternator to remove that dual belt pulley system setup. That's the uh, AC compressor right here and this bracket. And then we'll have to loosen up here, the belt off for the water pump, or actually power steering pump. The water pump's behind here and uh, get to this bracket. But, uh,
Okay. There's two belts. I'm just connecting. Won't be able to get them off until I get the uh, other water pump and power stream pump uh, pulley off. But here we go. Interesting setup on the uh, alternator. As it looks. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take a look at a couple things before we remove that. That wiring. Because it looks like the, the wiring harness clip may have been uh, removed. And, uh, it was plug wired in. Unless these bullets, these bullets can be pulled out. There's two big wires. So we've got the wiring coming up here. That's holding it on here, the big wire come down here. So we gotta take a look at that. Alternator harness is out, disconnected. Well, it took five different sizes of nuts.
what I'm going to do is, let's get the alternator out. It'll actually attach the uh, hardware back into the uh, spots where they go so they don't get lost. Some of the hardware I'm bagging up, tagging the bags. Not necessarily been doing a great job with that when it came to removing the uh, body panels. I got them separated in bags and uh, kind of set up. But Okay, alternator's out. Work on the uh, AC compressor. Okay. 